Hey traders, first ever video I'm making for my boat while sailing the Mediterranean, actually mooring right over here uh, near Croatia using my Starlink. Hopefully everything's going to turn out fine. Looking at MU, which is down 3.3%, looks like a gap and go. So I'm going to short right over here 2,000 shares. And again, you can see that the stock started weak today with a gap down, big gap down. You expect a continuation and it does move down now to the lows. I do not like this bounce. When you have a bounce at the lows and a bottoming tail, it's a bad indication. It's the same candle while the stock was moving lower. It just moved up. This is a very strong indication and it's moving up. I'm down $1,000. I'm stopping it right over $62. I'm starting my day with a loser. However, Snap, Snap is down 35%. That's not 3%, that's 35%. So I'm going to show more size, 8,000 shares. Also, it's not such a big mover. And anyway, it looks fine and it's probably going to come down because it should be a gap and go. Same idea with COF. COF is down 3.4% and it just reversed, tried to move higher and failed. And I'm going to short here 2000 shares expecting it to come down. And again, I'm looking for gaps and goes and I've got plenty of them today, including Google. Google is down 2.5% and uh, again, it tried to move higher. I think it's likely to fail. I'm shorting 2,000 shares and I'm expecting it to move down to the lows. So Google just joined the rest. Uh, WDC, same idea. Stock is down 4.5%. Look at this beautiful, beautiful technical formation. I'm shorting right over here, 4,000 shares. I love this technical formation. It just broke down the support and should come lower. Same idea for Meta. Take a look at this amazing technical formation in Meta. It's holding at the support I'm shorting 2,000 shares, expecting it to continue and come down. And again, you know, Meta is weak today, down more than 5%. It should be a gap and go. Several times, times it tried to move higher and failed. It should come down. COF just reached my target a little bit less than two points. As you can see, I'm up $3,800 and I'm about to take my partial right now, leaving 200 shares. That was a beautiful, beautiful move. I entry and target and just did very, very well. So I'm leaving 200 shares for the continued run and take a look at the S&P. It's very important to understand what happened. You can see that the S&P tried to move higher and failed. You see this topping tail? The same idea we've seen earlier with MU, my failing trade, when it failed to move lower. Once you have a breakdown and the stock is moving up, it failed MU. Now we had a break up with the S&P 500 and at the same candle, it came down, which is is a great indication for a reversal and that's why WDC just broke down amazingly well and I'm up $3,500 and I'm taking my partial right over here and I'm going to leave 400 shares at the first sign of a reversal which is now now left 400 shares an amazing trade with WDC remember this technical formation we've seen here earlier this was a really really strong indication that is going to break down under the lows and it did now take a look at the S&P already broke down under the lows now Meta just uh, joins the party because uh, again, the market just moved down and I'm up almost one point, seventeen hundred dollars took my partial here in Meta. It did well, did not break down as much as I anticipated and the market just started moving up a little bit. So I'm being careful here and I'm taking my partial. Same applies for Google. I only have $300 and it's starting to move up because the market moves up. I don't have my profit cushion, so I'm reducing my size. Actually, just leaving 200 shares, no profit cushion and the market already made the big move. So if the market already made the big move and I have no profit cushion, I should take my partial. Snap is down, not as much as I expected. I'm up $1,400 and I want to close this trade because this stock is really just going kind of sideways. So it's it's a nice profit. I took my profit here in Snap. It uh, did well, but not anywhere close to what I was hoping it's going to do. And here's the end result. Uh, first uh, trading video I'm uploading from my boat. I'm up just over $8,000. So it's a great result. I'm really, really happy. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. 
And um, if you like to subscribe to this video, there's a button right over here. You can subscribe and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. So thanks again for joining in and uh, it was fun. Enjoyed trading from the boat with a Starlink connection. So thanks again to Elon Musk for allowing this. Thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.